Night Street Jacket Day here at Mucus Asylum Stadium here in Luniapolis, Craziana, home of the Insane Colts. The first 1,000 fans will receive a free street jacket in a 500 volt lobotomy. Am I crazy? Or did I just see Fan throw himself off the upper deck in a garbage can with an M80 in his mouth? No, that's their mascot, Crazy Jimmy. <laughs> Quite the entertainer, isn't he? Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Hexon Oilers take on the Insane Colts. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Seriously, man, you think you'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish! I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. One, hot two, hey! Oh, and he intercepts the ball! Thank you very much, sister! Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth! And it's first and ten. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he rumbles for nine on that play. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. And it's first and ten. One yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the deep boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. And I've had it. I'm oh, nice hit. And 
it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. And the quarterback throws another goal with the punishing hit. First and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the big six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. Third down and ten. And not the one feet dirty brick. Look at them get their hands up and block the pass. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just give him the points and let's move on. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And chainsaws really have a way of extending the red zone to kind of all that. <laughs> He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if 
they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. He is fighting for every yard. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. First down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Oh, sure. Now he catches it. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And it's first and ten. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's gonna kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. And like a monkey trying to fuck up, he was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stomped after three. They usually stop me. 3-2. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. 
Second down and seven. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. Second down and seven. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. And that'll bring up third down and seven. to the moon another loser bites the dust in the nfl winning is really about how much you want it bricks well he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy that's a good point grim and the offense has only two running backs left and the defense is licking their lips uh, i think they want to hit those last two runners for this night grim And it's first and ten. Whoa. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Second down in a very lot. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, he just got crushed. First and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. It's first and ten. Six yard gain there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. And that'll be second down and four. way to keep the chains moving that was beautiful
First and two. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Glenn. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. The one-way dirty trick is always good for an easy kill. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Second down and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and ten. The defensive players go berserk. Three-yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for... Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. The Roid Rage dirty trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Oh, man, he reaped. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Oh, crash, bang, pow. Huh? Oh, you order in Chinese. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> Well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know. I hate those zebra men. Second down, the defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hit. He got to jump over those mines or steer clear of them. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. And 
And that's another turnover for the defense. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And, and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Graham. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? Our carnival? Hey, huh? I, I, I'm going to go to a strippy show. Where are we going? Hey, hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> and the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down and more than the QB would like. And with another pick, the QB said, Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. First and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. And that is caught for a first down. First and ten. Ah, another interception. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Now these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls, and by talk I mean stomp them into the ground. <laughs> First and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten.
just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and 10. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. Third down and five. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Second down and five. And another interception. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got dead mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. Final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, lucky to have survived so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the player on Roid Rage would win. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Don't worry. If he shocks you to death, maybe he can shock There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. One's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receivers. 
interceptions. And oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures. And the runner is a crazy fast. Look at the path he's taking a beat. He's got the ball now. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. The punter was killed, so now they'll need to find another player on the bench to punt from here on out. Yeah, who gives a crap about punters anyway? Punters' moms? Wives? Kids? Ah, but that's about it. And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Receiver runs away from the pass marker? That's a good clue that something's not right. Get hey, with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Second down and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, in third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Third down and five. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? 
It's the same thing as a hurry up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Oh, look at this guy break. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. He is really getting down out there. You know, he spends most of his days roasting in the pits of hell, so he's got to make the most of every opportunity to dance. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Ma, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. Ah, if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He can have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. First and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than... And he's off to the races. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Great shoestring tackle. And it's first and ten. Freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, that didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I gotta see that again. The defense is down to their last two defensive backs. Once they're gone, it's game over. Those poor safeties and coming backs are really getting beat up today. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Second down and two. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay.
Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. They might catch him. Move, you fat little mutant. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And he's running like a moose right now. And it's first and ten. And like Bricks' balls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. That was a good throw, assuming he was aiming for the ground. Second down and 10. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Bricks' match. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full of berserk. And the defense gets it. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Oh. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten it sleeting. Boom! In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, grip, but it keeps coming back to him. Second. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. He could go all the way. The 10. It's a touchdown. Oh, 
And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. He'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. It's better to be lucky than good, which is good news for the offense. Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. You can't keep a good mutant down. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just the Colts walk away losers today. And they're losers every day in my book. And let's go down the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotropism. <laughs> with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not.